Guys, it's Daryl here. It's New Year's Eve. It's still Tuesday morning. And I'm just taking a little break. I'm making a quick video. I know you guys are mainly concerned about social issues and politics and everything like that. But on this eve of a new year, uh, talk, I want to talk about some other things that bring a lot of hope and joy to my heart. And I hope it helps other people too. Uh, I made this other video just before this, this unbelievable story of coming across some workout equipment that was insane. Uh, I want to show you guys what I do for a living. I'm an artist. And this is another thing I feel like I was blessed with. Uh, the very last recovery place I went into, St. Francis Hospital in Hartford, uh, I was at the end of my rope. I had, this was the 13th, 14th recovery detox I had been in. I was done. They weren't going to accept me anymore. Um, I was at the end of my rope. And this place had a uh, art therapy project, you know, and some people... Let me tie it into politics. Uh, a lot of politicians have been doing away with the cultural stuff like that. Republicans uh, doing away with uh, the arts and like public TV, public uh, TV, and all that. And I, I, I can't stress how how much of a bad idea I think that is. How we need that culture. It gives us the very life, the very, uh, the very reason for the you know one of the very reasons for this country: uh, love, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Um, but anyway. So as soon as, I, as soon as I got out, or pretty soon after that, I decided to invest in a little canvas. It was $3 for a little canvas. And I still remember, I still had the addict mindset where I wasn't, you know, part of me wanted to go buy drugs. And part of me was worried that spending that $3 on that canvas was a waste and it could be better spent on cocaine or heroin. Sounds terrible, but this is the truth. This is still, I was in just starting recovery, but addicts still have that little voice and at that time that little addict voice is still very loud uh i can't tell you guys how grateful i am that i did buy that little canvas um so it's bloomed uh it turns out i i had somewhat of a talent for art and i've been able to to sell my artwork i also uh donate my paintings to charities to buy narcan uh there's a charity uh a uh, artist against overdose aao and I donate uh, three to six paintings every year to a silent auction to buy Narcan to save, uh, save lives. Anyway, on to my artwork. I'm going to start painting today because I, I've got a lot of uh, gift certificates for, for Christmas. Uh, and I'm going to go buy some new canvases. But I want to show you uh, what I think I'm going to work on here. Let me show you a few of my paintings. Uh, these two down here, th this style of mine is very popular. Um, I've sold one similar to this for four, over $400, this one and one just like this one. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, it was kind of a, just a whim when I first painted it, but people love it. Uh, I, I don't know. There's just the, uh, mystery of what's behind the hill. I, I, I don't know, but people, uh, people are amazed by the, uh, how detailed it is too. How uh, a lot of people say it looks like, a a photo and here's one that I've never finished it's a it's a landscape and over here you can see I never finished it and this has been years I, I do this from time to time if I'm inspired I'll pick up an old painting and finish it off here's a big one uh, this is the view I, I talked to you guys a lot about Black Rock State Park where I grew up and this is a view from the what they call the Black Rock it's a very high point where there's a, a rock inside the mountain and you can see the whole surrounding uh, t towns for miles. And this is a view of it. I still haven't quite finished this one. There's a pond down the bottom. That, that would be Black Rock Lake. Uh, so yeah, this is some of my artwork. And I have also picked up, uh, I, I've picked up, I started doing a lot of abstracts just because I enjoy them. They haven't found quite as much success yet, but it's something in my heart that I love. And I tend to be uh, stubborn like that sometimes. I'm somewhat, I could be a bit of a rebel and stubborn. And if I like something, I like it. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. For instance, there's been a few videos on here that they got likes and they started getting views, but I didn't like them. I didn't feel comfortable with them, so I deleted them. Um, you know, I, I can't go back to something that I'm not proud of. So that's my, uh, and it's where that, that, that mindset has worked well for me. So anyway, it was a quick video. I know you guys are really interested in politics and the like, and I just wanted to show you guys another little story of hope and positivity. 
going into the new year and just a little picture into some of the stuff I do to make money, make loot. All right, you guys have a great New Year's Eve. Peace out.